What's good, Josh? Your boy, Major Influence. We back at it. This time, we're near Mount Charleston. About to hike Fletcher Canyon Trail. It's supposed to be a 4.2 mile hike out and back. At around the halfway mark, there should be snow, deep snow. Uh, we did bring our boots today for this one. It's gonna get a little cold, y'all. Burr. <laughs> It's currently around 40 degrees out here. It's already cold. Once we get into the mountain, it's probably going to be even colder. Y'all ready? Come on. Alright y'all, we at the halfway point right now. I know that because I am checking my trails app. As you can see right there in the middle of the trail of the 4.2. So we're probably around 2 miles, 2.1 miles. By the way, this is a great resource for those of you out there that do like to hike and want to stay on course. This trails app is perfect. But yeah, we're about halfway there you guys. Still not a lot of ice yet, but it is starting to get cold. Up until this point, I was thinking that I could have actually worn shorts in my regular trail running shorts shoes but as i'm getting deeper into the forest it is starting to get cold you guys starting to get very breezy and very frigid i can see the ice on the hills as i'm approaching the hill off in this direction over here so uh, i guess it's a good thing that i wore these boots we will see if more snow is still on the ground as we approach the canyon let's get there y'all
right you guys we're deep within the canyon i'm assuming we're here of course my trails app lost connection right around the three quarter mark i'm assuming if i go any further in this direction i may come out on the other side of this canyon i'm not too sure however i've already been in this canyon for quite some time i think i'm going to stop right here i know i definitely have passed the 4.2 mile mark so again i'm assuming that we've already reached the destination as you guys can see there's a lot of snow in here i'm glad that i did wear the boots because if i did it my feet would not only be freezing cold but you step within the snow and it goes above ankle deep sometimes up to the knees so i would have definitely been screwed if i would have worn my regular shoes however these boots have allowed me to walk through the snow with little to no problem this 4.2 miles is no joke you guys navigating through the snow through this canyon trying to not break the brittle ice some of the ice you can hear how brittle it is because it's rocking back and forth i tried my best to not break through any of it and stay safe of course what did you guys think I definitely thought on the way up here, like I mentioned at the halfway point, that I wouldn't need the long sleeves and boots, but boy was I wrong. It's definitely cold up here. I can even probably use a jacket over this. Definitely a confusing trail with the ice, slippery as hell. And we're out here in the forest in the middle of this canyon, so it can get pretty creepy. You do hear a lot of sounds and creaks. At times, I found myself looking around, seeing if anyone else is there, any animals or shoot anything all in all i did enjoy getting out here touching a little snow getting to breathe in this fresh air feels good you guys to be out here be outside be one with nature let me know in the comment section below is this a hike that you guys would consider doing again we're around the mount charleston mountains located in the state of nevada so if you guys haven't already guessed it i'm not going to be jogging back out due to the snow and all of the different terrain but hiking here was good enough cardio i'm going to navigate my way back out safely and uh, I'm going to catch you guys in the next episode. Where are we going to hike next? Shit, we're going to find out.